Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Vivian from the Paper and Letter blog and today I'm going to do a project share and then I'm going to decorate this envelope. First of all, I obviously start with picking out a tea. <clears throat> These are all the teas that my pen pals or swaps or you guys in my PR box have sent me and it's getting harder and harder to pick out a flavor. Ooh, this one sounds really good. It's green tea with pear and vanilla flavors. That sounds really amazing. So today I'm going to show you this flip book. I made it again with a sturdy um, binding system. I will link the video where I learned how to do this down below. I have done this in more videos such as my um, tea party themed collaboration with Brittany but this lady on YouTube does the best explanation and <laughs> I don't think I can explain it as well as she can. So this flip book is going to Louisetta. You may remember that name because she sent me something in my PO box, but we have actually been chatting before on Instagram and we even did a plant swap. I, I, I know this may seem like I planned this, but uh, this is actually the plant that I swapped with her. She sent me plant cuttings from this pretty plant and I sent her some plant cuttings of my plants. And as you can see, they're doing really, really well. I've actually moved it to the table because it doesn't like direct sunlight and I really like having it here. <laughs> so um, that is why I didn't put her mail in the subscriber mail pile um, but why I knew that I wanted to reply to her uh, so what I did we were actually she actually sent me some plant themed mail which is something we talked about before but when I started crafting I really wanted to do something with my new paper pad I have this really really beautiful paper pad um, it's called bloom from Maggie Holmes um, it's really beautiful and I was just so excited to use that that I thought I would make a Maggie Holmes inspired flipbook instead so I hope she will like this as well I have my stamps here for later but let me start by taking you through this flipbook like I said it is quite a sturdy one um, yeah the front air all the paper that I used is from that paper pad or something else from Maggie Holmes and um, yeah, I will just talk you through it. So the first page has this, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is basically um, a see-through sticker with a wreath and I, it says, hello, love. And then I put a die cut on some puffy stickers and I, I use this trim, this pom-pom trim that I got off of AliExpress and some more stickers. And then I actually messed up in the beginning because this binding style requires a lot of gluing. Sometimes you have to glue things together and I accidentally started to glue these two together. But when you do that, obviously you cannot open the flip book. So I had to peel off, I had to take off the glue and then I decided to cover this up with washi type instead. I don't know if I really like the way this looks, but um, in the end I'm quite happy with how it turned out because I already glued everything in here and then I glued these two pages together, which was really, really stupid. But um, I decided to use this striped washi type all throughout the booklet because I think it matches my papers quite well. First page has uh, two die cuts um, and some uh, enamel dots that I made for with the Nouveau Crystal Drops, which are like my favorite. I also doodled around this uh, just to make it stand out a little bit more. Then this is again a collage page, which are usually the ones I find most difficult, but in this one it actually went quite all right. So another collage with some pretty die cuts. This is all Maggie Holmes. Um, these are all, these are actual Maggie Holmes and these are actually um, AliExpress. So I found out later that AliExpress also has, I've had these for quite a while, I found out later that AliExpress also has Maggie Holmes die cuts. So they're knockoffs. <laughs> but when I ordered them, I actually didn't know that it was Maggie Holmes. But, mm -hmm. So these with the gold foil are from AliExpress. And I wanted to keep this page rather simple because otherwise I would cover up the pretty swan design in the back. And then when you flip it over, this is actually an envelope. So in here is my letter to her and so two teas that I picked out. I picked this one, which is a sleep, a bedtime tea from Clipper, which I really, really love. I've been drinking this nearly every night. 
and I thought that we seem to be very similar so I thought she might enjoy that as well and this is actually my favorite for dyes like to dye uh, it is an autumn storm tea which is really sweet and calming and it's, it has cinnamon and apple in it and of course my liner is in the back and then I also did some small decorating on this page um, this is uh, a die cut that I I don't know I, I made it big I don't know I made it stand out a little bit more with the Nouveau Crystal Drops I just doodled on the page with that I don't know how to else to explain it some more uh, dots I don't know and I want to close this off with a sticker or something I just have to find one let's see I also, this is a Maggie Holmes sticker book that I have. Um, that's also where this sticker came from. It's so beautiful, I'm always too afraid to use it. But these are times <laughs> where they come in really handy. Ooh, maybe a nice gemstone. Mm -hmm. Orange. Yeah, they're so pretty that I'm, <laughs> I, I hardly ever use them, but when I use them, it's always for a special occasion. So, a pretty gemstone. So that is envelope number one. And then this is another normal page. Uh, on this page, I have a little collage with a tag and another sticker and a pretty, uh, how do you call that? Like a, a star uh, sticker. And a washi tape sample that she can just take off the page. I don't have Maggie Holmes uh, washi tapes, I wish, uh, but these are some other designs that I thought would match really well and that are quite cute. Then next two pages, this is just a regular page and this is again an envelope. Um, so over here I have a, a sticker bag. Again, I got it from AliExpress and in there are just a random mix of stickers. And this is a die cut that I printed myself because you have this website called AC Digitals and there you can buy you can buy sets of die cuts and stuff. You can buy sets of designs from different designers such as Maggie Holmes and then you can print them yourself. So I also did that with this one and this is again a die cut, blah de blah. I don't know if you care about this. I love this paper in the background so that is why I wanted a see-through bag so you can still sort of see it. All these cute little garlands. Last one, this one also needs a sticker, but I wanted to show you the inside first. Um, this is really pretty paper. This is from the same paper pack, although all the other ones seem kind of uh, like pastel. And then this one is really dark green, which I don't know if I really like that, but I really do love this paper. And uh, again, this is one that I printed myself. It says good things. And this is a pretty swan with some gold foiling. So in here are just a bunch of goodies that I thought she would like. I'll see if I can take them out. They're really random. I just picked uh, whatever I thought uh, she could use. So these are some um, these are some note papers with monstera leaves. This is also a monstera plant, just the monkey mask version. And then some really cute Project Life cards that I wrapped up, and a die cut, and these tags all sorts of tags and these are actually um, images that I stamped with my new stamps and this ink let me show you I have this ink now none of this is sponsored by the way but this ink is a waterproof so what happens is you can actually uh, color this in with like a marker or watercolor and it doesn't bleed so I've been using this a lot to stamp images and then color them in which is actually something I was thinking of doing for the envelope as well and I thought maybe she also enjoys um, some of those stamped images I actually have that folder with stickers and this one fell out when I put it on the floor, but I actually think it could be kind of perfect. <laughs> so I'm just going with this circle sticker. Mm. There we go. And that was my uh, flip book. And I'm now going to, and to decorate this envelope and I will take you guys through that process. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and um, let me know in the comments down below.
how you are doing today. Okay, it's voiceover time. I will be talking you through what I do with this envelope, but of course I will also chat <laughs> because that's more me probably. Um, so what I did is obviously I took some of that vintage music paper that I have and I wanted to decorate on top of that. And then what I also found very important for this meal is to find the right stamps. So I'm going to try a couple different sets i guess <laughs> to see what would really work because i want it to continue in some sort of a maggie holmes style but i also wanted to chat with you guys because i have been absent from my uh, youtube channel for a week actually i don't know if you noticed <laughs> but i took a little break from just one week because between christmas and uh, new year's and work and everything i just felt like i couldn't really deliver the type of content that I wanted to deliver and then I couldn't re reply to all of your messages and lastly I also felt a little bit overwhelmed I guess because like I said between Christmas and New Year's and working I didn't have a lot of time left actually and we were also making some very important decisions for the house i have a little update on that we have actually decided to redecorate the bathroom and not just redecorate but actually redo i guess i should say um so when we get the keys in march we are going to start demolishing the bathroom <laughs> and that'll be our one big um renovating project the rest of the house will just be floors and painting walls so while that is of course very very nice to have a new bathroom uh, it also brought a lot of decision making and a lot of thinking and frankly a lot of stress i have had a couple nights uh, where i was feeling so bad <laughs> i don't want to be dramatic but i learned so much in therapy and then um like a week ago, I felt so bad that I was kind of afraid that I had lost everything I learned. But we actually decided on a bathroom and with some of that decision making and stress out of the way, I actually feel a lot better. So I'm glad to say that I didn't have a relapse into a bad anxiety times I just had. A little bit of a bad week, I guess. <laughs> but okay, like I was saying, basically a lot on my head a lot on my plate and I felt like a week off from my YouTube channel would kind of be what I needed so that I could refocus and uh, hopefully create some good quality content in the future again so I have a couple of stamps I actually don't know where I put them I put all of them in a folder they are these kind of large stamps like the one I just pressed onto the page with the beautiful flowers uh, I put all of them in one folder and now I don't know where I left that folder so eh. but my goal or my idea for these stamps was to do exactly what I'm doing right now stamp it on the page with some of that waterproof ink and then color it in so I did that with this envelope as well but okay what I wanted to say before I started rambling on about uh, random stuff is that I have been away for a week so I wanted to ask you guys how was your new year's I also asked that in my previous video, which is a P.O. box opening, but I know not everyone likes these hour long videos. So I thought for those of you who haven't watched that video, I would ask it here as well. So <laughs> I would really like to hear how your New Year's was. Like I also said in the P.O. box video, mine was pretty OK. Uh, Heise and I, my boyfriend and I just stayed home with our cat and we watched TV and we ate food. So <laughs> not very spectacular, but good enough for me and i also watched the cats in the cat cafe i fed them in the evening before and the night the morning after new year's and that was really really rewarding and nice because they were so happy to see me the fireworks really did scare them oh and by the way if you are if you have for some reason not watched my PO box video but you do like them i really really recommend you go watch that video as well i will link it in the end screen of this video so you can go straight to the PO box video after this one or i will also link it down below 
um like i said i really recommend you go watch that if you like snail mail ideas because wow there's really some amazing mail in there again I, I i i keep saying this every time i receive mail but you guys really are so creative with all of the 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 mail first of all and then all the lovely letters and the presents even oh i always feel so lucky and this time there is again a lot of inspiration in there i even received a pocket letter which is is i think my first pr box pocket letter i received flip books i received lovely letters and again uh yeah just a really big bunch of happy mail that i was really excited to share with you guys so if you haven't watched it yet i really recommend you go watch it now also what i'm doing in the back <laughs> in the video um, i used my distress oxides um to make that those little leaves because i felt like it was a little bit flat and not colorful enough so i use my distress oxides to make those leaves behind the envelope the label the address label while we've been and now i'm also kind of doodling on the page oh yes and what i realized is that i actually put i think i put this on upside down like the, the opening of the envelope is actually at the bottom because you know <laughs> that's how smart i am <laughs> I keep having to redo these voiceovers because my lovely boyfriend keeps making noise. But what I was saying is that this is the finished look of the envelope. As you could see, I also wrote a little quote in the corner. Every day is a new beginning. And I put the mail in that envelope and i'm now showing you my new address labels. I've had them for a little while, but I, I guess I never showed them in a video. But what, why I wanted to show this is because that image of the lemon tree is also from Maggie Holmes. Oh no, I didn't put it on upside down. Oh, I did it correctly. Okay, never mind. But okay, I, uh, yeah, I guess that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, leave me a comment down below if you like. And I will see you again very soon. Okay, bye-bye.